Jay Grazio with Shooting Illustrated, here with another entry in our iCarry series, bringing you firearms and gear devoted to home and personal defense. Today we have a Ruger LCR 38 Special in a Sticky Holsters Pocket Holster. We also have a Tough Products Quick Strip, a 511 Tactical Alpha Folding Knife, a Coast HX5 Flashlight, and Federal's new HST 38 Special Ammunition. Let's take a closer look at this gear. We show clear. The LCR represented such a radical change in Ruger's revolver line that it might as well have been a laser gun. Previous to the introduction of the LCR line, Ruger's small frame revolver, the SP-101, offered a 5-shot 357 Magnum for concealed carry, but one that was literally double the weight of the competition. Bringing out the polymer-framed LCR gave Ruger a serious competitor for the pocket pistol market. As a fighting revolver goes, the LCR series is all business. Sights are a pin blade up front, replaceable with a big dot, tritium vial, or other sighting system of your choice, and a U-notch rear sight. The cylinder is PVD coated stainless steel, and a Hogue Tamer grip helps with recoil. The LCR is rated for 38 Special Plus P ammunition. Interesting features of the LCR's design include an aluminum inner frame and barrel sleeve with a polymer grip frame, and it's here that the majority of the weight savings is achieved. This particular LCR sports a Crimson Trace green laser grip upgrade. It makes the R a little harder to pocket carry as the standard hold grips are a two finger grip while the Crimson Trace has room for three, but there's greater recoil control with the upgrade. Carrying this LCR with the laser grips and a pair of jeans might be difficult, but a good pair of cargo pants with larger pockets, it's not a problem. The obvious benefit of the Crimson Trace laser grip is the instant on capability combined with the immediate aiming point regardless of light level. I hesitate to call it a must have accessory, but it's pretty close. Sticky Holsters markets his holsters as inside the waistband without clips or straps. The proprietary outer material is specifically designed to catch and hold fabric, keeping the holster in place. While I've used them in this manner, I personally don't care for it. I prefer my inside the waistband holsters to be secured. However, what that grippy outer material does very well is anchor the holster in a pocket, which makes it just about perfect for that carry method. Loading a pocket size revolver is cumbersome and requires a fair amount of diligence. So whichever method you choose, practice, practice, practice. I prefer a flat carrier for spare ammo over a round speed loader, and Tough Products offers its quick strips in five, six, seven, and eight round variants. Personally, I think having as much spare ammo as possible is a great idea, so I offer the larger models wherever possible. How you carry an EDC pocket knife varies from person to person and boils down to tip up versus tip down, as well as how the knife is oriented in the pocket. Ideally, it should be set up so that you can withdraw the knife from the pocket and open it with a minimum of wasted motion. The 511 Tactical Alpha Scout Tonto offers a full range of clip mounting possibilities with all four positions, tip up or tip down, for both left and right handed people. G10 scales, AUS8 stainless steel construction, a 3 inch long blade, and a standard liner lock round out the specs for this inexpensive folding knife. Up to 345 lumens, depending on power source, a protective tail cap and two-way carry, and a flashlight that retails for $25, you have my attention. Coast's HX5 can run on alkaline nickel metal hydride, NIMH, or lithium ion batteries and gives 130 lumens for three hours and 45 minutes on a standard AA battery. The clip allows bezel up or down carry and has the added benefit of being able to clip to the rim of a ball cap for hands-free operation. The beam can be focused as a spotlight or floodlight depending on application. As we've mentioned previously, when choosing a small firearm with a short barrel for concealed carry, your choice of ammunition is more important than with a full size firearm. Shorter barrels mean less velocity and ammunition designed for expansion at a certain velocity may not achieve full potential. Federal Premium's 130 grain HST 38 Special Plus P is designed with low flash propellants, proven HST bullet design and deep bullet seating to ensure consistent powder burn rates and peak performance. For more information about this gear and other everyday carry combinations, visit shootingillustrated.com. And as always, stay tuned for more gear on iCarry.